Hey, Black Cat Studio here with a very quick set of patch notes. Usually I don't cover the small restart list ones, but this one actually has some pretty interesting stuff in it. So I'll just dive right into it. So for improvements, they've added nearly a thousand more foiled items to the Voidborn Reliquary, which is pretty awesome. That's not really what I care about though. The next three are the ones that are really big for me. Log books and Atlas memories now allocate based on the item allocation option selected rather than always free for all allocation. Divine Vessels and Scarabs now allocate based on the item allocation option selected rather than always allocating to the map owner. Really nice because sometimes I just want to share scarabs with my friends. I don't need every Divine Vessel and every Scarab. I'm totally fine sharing them so it is nice to actually have that option now. Now the thing that actually really surprised me, and I have a clip of this from the stream, is the incubators. When going to apply an incubator, items with an incubator already applied to them now display an incubator icon in the bottom right hand corner. Here's a clip of me on stream demonstrating that. Oh, there's a little thing in the bottom right hand corner now. If you have an incubator on something, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that makes it so much easier. I don't have to check every single fucking thing to see whether it has an incubator or not. I gotta say, that is like the coolest change ever. I'm really, really happy that they put that in. Because like, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you're in a public party or you're paying for an XP service, being able to know quickly where to apply your incubators is important. And sometimes it's just nice to not have to check every single one of your items to see if it has an incubator. So I'm actually really, really happy with that. Okay, we'll quickly go over the bug fixes now. Fixed a bug where Zeshta Ula, the open hand, was not dropping any items on death. That sucks. Also, I probably pronounced that wrong. <laughs> Fixed the bug where buffs with a count such as momentum were not showing the count if it was not larger than one. That would be kind of annoying, especially if you're using intensity and stuff. You kind of want to know when that's active. Fixed a bug where gaining momentum while channeling a supported skill was not dynamically updating attack speed correctly only updating the buff count visually. Okay, so momentum is actually stronger now. Fixed a bug where war cries supported by corrupting cry were not applying corrupted blood with exerted lacerate attacks. Okay, corrupting cry is now stronger with lacerate. Fixed a bug where the guardian's harmony of purpose buff description was incorrect. Fixed a bug where the damage taken recouped as mana modifier had the life item modifier tag. Fixed a bug where the fourth and fifth tiers of the Chaos Born Body Armor microtransaction could remove the effects of some back attachment microtransactions. There we go for people who've done a lot in the last league and really care about microtransactions. Fixed a wonky interaction between the Voidborn Body Armor and God Slayer's Pride Amulet microtransactions and fixed an instance crash. Okay, so that's it for the patch notes. I mainly just wanted to go over this because of the Scarab and Incubator changes because those are really cool to me, and they actually mean a surprising amount. <laughs> if you like this and you want to see more Path of Exile content, as well as patch notes, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We have a new Patreon page that just got published. So if you want to support us and see exclusive videos, as well as new content coming out before it hits the channel, go check out our link in the description, and we'd be very happy to have you as part of the community. You have a great day, everyone. Bye!